Hi, I'm Jason Tolfson, Senior Product Marketing Manager responsible for Microchip's low-power microcontrollers. Have you been looking for a way to reduce the size and the weight of your extreme low-power design by using only a single battery? And are you finding that coin cells do not last long enough or provide enough current to power the features in your design like RF? Microchip can help with the MCP1640 family of single cell synchronous boost converters. The MCP1640 can be powered by a single fresh 1.5 volt battery or by a discharge battery outputting 0.7 volts. By boosting this voltage, the MCP1640 outputs a stable regulated voltage. You can program this voltage to be two volts, three volts, five volts, or any voltage in between. Having a stable voltage ensures consistent performance in your application and can keep power consumption to a minimum. Here I have a single cell reference design based upon the Energizer Quad A battery. The total board footprint for this power supply is three and a half centimeters squared, almost exactly the area of a CR2032 coin cell. By implementing a feedback loop between the PIC MCU and the MCP1640, reliable low power operation is achieved. When compared to a CR2032 coin cell battery, this MCP1640 design has 15 times higher continuous current and between 50% and 1300% higher energy delivery depending on the current requirements. As you can see, the MCP1640 is a perfect companion for Microchip's extreme low power MCUs as it provides energy for the features you want, cuts the area to half that of two cell designs, and runs until the battery is fully discharged delivering a maximum operating life to your design. You can find out more about this reference design and how to get one at microchip.com slash MCP1640. To find out about Microchip's extreme low power microcontrollers, go to microchip.com slash XLP.